Okay. I wish that I had the ability to mute people. <laughs> <laughs> me too, sometimes. <laughs> Look who we're hanging with. That would be me. Look who we're hanging with. Jason David Frank. Boom shakalaka. Please do not change channel. Welcome back. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. That way you can keep coming back over and over to hang with us and our wonderfully talented and creative guests in the arts and entertainment world. I'm Allison Murray, and right now we are at the Foothills Center in Oneonta, New York, for the second annual AuthorCon and Paranormal Horror Festival, hosted by Tiffany Ray, DTM Wicked Radio, and Denny Gager. And we are hanging with author and our good friend, friend James McNally. Hello James. Hello. So you were on about two years ago, a year ago. Yeah. Not quite two years yet, but yeah, a year ago at uh, the first author con, right? Yeah. All right. So what you been doing in a year? Uh, wrote a new book. You write a new book. The Affected. So tell yeah. us about your book. Give us um, a little book blurb. The Affected, I um, mentioned it in our last thing when uh, I was still writing it. Yes. Um, it's basically a um, story about people changing, uh, sort of like uh, invasion of the body stand. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, oh it's my. It's got a very big twist at the end. <laughs> oh my. Now is this um, a running novel? Um, or is this a standalone? It, it's standalone right now. There's a possibility of making oh, more. Oh, very um, good. But right now I want to keep it as a standalone. It's a stone. Oh, okay. So, um, I don't know. Did I ask you before um, what your inspiration was to becoming an author? Yeah. And I told you it was Stephen King. <laughs> Oh yeah, Stephen King, <laughs> the best horror uh, novelist there is out there, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you find um, the most difficult process is to your artistic ability? Uh, coming up with the ideas. <laughs> like, it's one thing to have an idea, it's yeah. another thing to make it into a full book. Now are you a platter or a pantser? Or are you a little both? I try not to plot. When I try to plot, um, it doesn't work out. It doesn't work out for me. <laughs> so I just let it go and see where it takes me. Yeah. I let okay. the characters Pants decide. Are. Nice. <laughs> Very yes. The characters talk to you, right? Yes. So, um, so being a pantser, you don't. Do you have a vision when you're starting your books? I do. Um, and then it kind of takes its own little. This started with uh, a stranger in town that everybody's talking about, and that's how the book okay. progresses. Oh, nice. Um, where's your most favorite place to go just to kind of regroup, recharge, collect yourself? Um, just nature, going for walks. Nice. They got Stephen King into trouble. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tend to pick trails rather than the road. <laughs> <laughs> I hear ya. I hear ya. Who designed your book cover? It's I beautiful. Did. Oh, you did? I'm a control freak. So nice. I design everything. <laughs> awesome. Very good. I love good. that picture. I know. She is very spooky. It's pretty spooky. <laughs> It kind of, yeah, when you, oh, yes. <laughs> I love it. I love the eye. Yeah. Wow, it, that's what kind of does it. So um, you do frequent a lot of cons, right? Local yeah. and local um, author signings. Yes. What's coming up for you after today? I have two coming up in November. I'm not sure exactly where they are. Okay, very good. And remind people where they can find you and your books. Um, Amazon. Amazon.
Amazon. Uh, Good place. Facebook. Beautiful. Just under J James McNally, yeah. right? Awesome. Do we have time for a game? We have time for a game. Okay. And you know me, James. <laughs> I love games. I've got some new ones here. Uh, I want to play with you, I think, Disturbed Friends. Okay. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever played? No. I'm going to warn you, it is a very dirty game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun. I'm going to play with you. All right. Because, you know, I embarrass myself, too. Okay. Do you want me to, So you have a little uh, sentence, and then you have A, B, or C, and you have to pick the best answer that you want for the question. Okay. Okay, I'll go first to give All you right. an idea. I think the best rule the government can implement is... <laughs> Dumb people can't have children. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> oh my God. It's a good thing we don't have a political color on this show. Okay, James, your turn. Uh, you didn't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that Trump, that life truly begins when you learn how to masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly does make it more more fun when you're uh, single and unattached. And right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wish that I had the ability to mute people. <laughs> Me too, sometimes. <laughs> well, guys, again, we've had a lot of fun hanging out with James. I'm Allison Murray, but before we go, we'd like to give a very special thank you to our partners at Krypton Radio out of LA. Famous Faces and Funnies, Off the Chain Radio with Yvonne Mason, Space Coast Comics, Asylum Convention Entertainment Services with Heather Reed, Embellish FX out of Orlando, Florida. These are the folks that share our videos all over the World Wide Web, and we hope you will too. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think of today's show and our guest. You can also check our guest links below. Remember to subscribe, log on, and stay tuned to see who we're hanging with next. Very good, James. <laughs>